everyone welcome back to another ps vita video and today i'm going to be restoring my ps vita 2000 because it's been having way too many problems where i can't actually use it so the issues that i've been having is that it wants to restart it stays stuck or frozen on some sort of application any application whatever it can be it just stays there stuck uh, and also, my themes don't want to load up properly, so you can see how this is just all blanked out. It's weird, and on the, one of the major issues I've been having is that it doesn't want to install Adrenaline, and that's by far one of the best applications to have for your PS Vita, and I need that application so I can make my PSP videos. And I really like the PS Vita 2000 because it has that micro USB connection, and it's just easier for me to record content with this specific console so i want to re uh hack it i want to remod it and the goal is to remove enzo completely from here we're also going to format the sd card via pc and the goal is to remake these videos uh, try to have an updated jailbreak video for 4 3.74 and just make it for those who are interested in getting into the homebrew scene for the very first time and just having a refresh new video here on the channel uh, for 2022 we're halfway there so it's nice to get a new video out now that this new firmware is already out here and if you are interested in removing the custom firmware uh, from your PS Vita this video will help you do that so just make sure you do have Enzo if you don't just connect to your PC Vita shell, download Enzo from your computer, and install it through Vita shell uh, via USB or FTP connection. But yeah, let's go and open up our Enzo application. Here it is. So let's open that up. And I'm currently running on 3.60 Hinkaku Enzo. So it says here this software will make a permanent modification to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery, not even with the hardware flasher. The creators provide this tool as is without warranty of any kind, express or implied, and cannot be held liable for any damage done. Press circle to accept these terms or any other key to not accept. So let's press circle. So now we have options. We have cross the X button to reinstall the hack. We can press triangle to uninstall the hack. We have square to fix boot configuration. Choose this if Taihan isn't loading on boot. Exit without doing anything. So let's press triangle. So this is checking, uninstalling, okay. Cleaning up payload, okay. Deleting boot config, okay. Press any key to reboot. So now the system will reboot. And now we have the original PlayStation logo. Sometimes if you're trying to update to the latest system software, uh, you're going to have an error message. And what the console is asking you to do is to remove those modifications on your firmware before you even go into the system software. Sometimes you can go ahead and update, which is perfectly fine for the most part. Let's update using Wi-Fi. new version let's do it yes i will update so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go through this entire update and after we update it i'm going to completely delete everything from the system and this shouldn't take too long it's about a minute and a half to get this downloaded and installed or I guess just download it. But it's nice to go through the system and clean it up here again and, and go through the entire process. So I, I'm excited to uh, get this all, to revisit some of my older videos and to recreate them in a much more nicer fluid format. Now that I have a, a little bit more experience under my belt, these videos can be a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, better thumbnails, better tags, and we can do a much better job in explaining on what we're actually doing and probably speed up the process and make it a lot easier for us. Oh, 
All right, so we're fully restarted here. Now updating the database, do not par off the system. Let's see what we got here. We still have all of our apps. Let's see if we can, yeah, file is corrupt, which is just fine. Let's check our settings and see what firmware we're on. Go to the system information. And yeah, we are now at 3.74 with a capacity of one gigabyte. So yeah, we are all set there. And now what we're going to do is we will power down our system. For this step, we wanna make sure that the light is completely off and not blinking. Next, what we wanna do is hold the PS button, the right trigger button and the power button all at once there we go so we entered safe mode and here what we want to do is restore the system this is a Japanese model so I have to press circle settings will be restored to default values and all data in system storage will be deleted are you sure you want to continue Hit yes this will not completely restore your SD card so you will have to do that on your PC let's open this up so now we're at the welcome screen which is great so yeah that is how you would completely restore your system and remove Enzo on your system so you can restart fresh start all over or sell your console or trade it or whatever you're going to do with it and that way it's all cleaned out thank you guys so much for watching this video please stay tuned for more to come i'll be covering updated videos on how to install custom firmware on 3.74 and we're also going to be doing a new updated sd2 vita adapter uh, setup along with installing more homebrew on this console so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos at all and also i do stream twice a week so make sure you stay tuned for those hitting that notification bell you'll get all notifications from my channel so if you're interested in homebrew or more ps vita content psp ps3 please stay tuned for more content to come thank you so much for watching take care guys and i'll see you on the next one.